the tents that we were staying in were completely moldy and everybody was getting sick with respiratory infections. They're getting paid millions of dollars. Why can't they even give us a tent that doesn't make us sick to live in it? The soldiers are sleeping on these little cots out in the middle of the desert while these KBR executives are driving these $40,000 vehicles. They and their secretaries are driving at least a thirty dollars to $40,000 vehicle. This secretary lives in this complex, eats her meals in this complex, has her laundry delivered to her, has no reason to go anywhere at any time, but has a brand new top of the line Ford or Chevy pickup with everything imaginable on it that you could put on it chrome rims and leather interior and CD players and all these extra amenities that, you know, you don't really need in wartime. Why do they need an H-2 Hummer? Why do they have Cadillac Escalades in Iraq for Halliburton managers? What is the purpose? One invoice that I saw was for about $7,000 for one month for a SUV on a lease. It was a three-year contract. Comes up to uh, roughly $250,000 a vehicle that you and I could purchase at the local dealership for probably top of the line $45,000. And the taxpayer paid $250,000 and never did own the vehicle.